Effective health service delivery in the rural areas of Papua New Guinea has always been a concern since the country's independence. In a recent interview with MTV News, former health minister, health secretary and a medical doctor by profession, Sepuka Temu, who is Abao MP, said although there have been heavy criticism of the country's health system, it is not substandard and is one of the best health systems in the Asia-Pacific region. When I was secretary for health, my greatest concern was the WHO requirements of dollar per population was not met. $10 WHO recommends that for medical drugs, it should equate to $10 per citizen. Abao district in the central province has a total land area of more than 7,000 square kilometers and a significant part of the district are on the coastal areas, which is where the district center Cupiano is also located. Health service delivery in the Abao district has been very challenging, with facilities experiencing shortage of manpower and most facilities lacking required resources for effective service delivery. Abao MP Sepuka Temu, who is in his fourth term in parliament and has lately been facing a leadership tribunal, acknowledged the challenges that the district faces in terms of infrastructure development, saying there are efforts being made to address some of the challenges. Our problem mainly is in the Aroma Coast. Uh, the Paramana 8 post is not working very well because the 8 post totally left. Uh, and then when we build a Mapa one, they remove it because of land disputes. Uh, and so we are now negotiating with the United States where they have a mission station near the Wagula Obo on this side. So they have agreed that they, they will provide land for us to build a major health center there. The former Kupiano Health Center was demolished some years ago to enable a new state-of-the-art district hospital to be built to better serve the affected population. This was through the oil search tax credit scheme. Thanks to the uh, national planning, who, who, which manages the uh, tax credit scheme, I was able to, for four years, I was able to successfully negotiate oil search tax credit scheme to build our hospital. And uh, building under the fund that the oil search tax credit scheme uh, provided is now basically doing the final finishing touches right now. However, the new district hospital is yet to be opened for service, with the Abao MP saying during the recent interview that it is expected to be opened in the first quarter of this year. So what we have done is because the, of the provincial health authority system, Dr. James Amini and the Central Provincial Health Authority are now overseeing the further progress of the health systems in the district in the province and for this particular case, the district hospital in Kupiano. So it is a district hospital status. A temporary health center has been operating over the past four to five years during the construction of the new district hospital in which patients and others who use the small facility, including health workers, have expressed serious concern and are calling on the relevant authorities to have the new hospital opened at the earliest. A couple of things are, are going on at the same, same time. One is I've sat down with the Secretary for Department of Personal Management. I got uh, Dr. James Amini, the CEO for Central Province Health Authority, to meet. Because I want, the, I want the, the manpower structure to be approved for the district hospital. A health worker at the temporary health center shared some challenges to MTV News off-camera which include logistics, bed shortage, and lack of power supply where health workers use solar lights to serve patients in the night, or sometimes there is no light at all. Under the hospital building, we have a standalone generator for the district hospital. So the hospital has its own generator. So it's on the side of the, on the hill. So the generator is standalone until the power system comes from comes from Mosby, so... Dennis Orere, National MTV News.